It's like they like to celebrate when you're down. Some people like to celebrate when you're down. What's up, guys? It's Manny Brandon back with Manny's Fitness Fortress, the Citadel of Power. I'm on my way to the gym, guys, but I got a little rant today, and I got—I haven't done one of these vehicle videos in a while, but it has to be said. I want to talk about uh, how fitness impacts your life. right away talking about how your friends and close circles change or adapt or manifest themselves after you go get on your fitness journey and your journey toward success I'm gonna kind of go backwards fast forward and then go backwards I have people that I'm dealing with right now very um, very very intelligent very uh, optimal business partners and people that help me and co-creators and collaborators Anytime they needed to get in contact with me, whether we had an engagement or an appointment for three o'clock Sunday, five o'clock Monday, they all, even if we talked early in the week, five days out, the night before or the day before the appointment or the event, they confirm, they confirm the appointment to make sure everything's still a go, especially if they haven't, um, we haven't connected or you know, resume con, you know, contact within three days, four days, five days, whatever. That's just good business. They're not paying me to be on time. I'm not paying them to be on time. It's just common courtesy. Sometimes when you start on your fitness journey and you start progressing, close friends and your close circle may talk to you and say, oh, you get new. You don't know nobody anymore. You don't need to do that. We don't need to communicate, but it's not necessarily um, something that they understand whether you're getting paid to show up on time whether it's a court appointment doctor's appointment a training appointment there's always a confirmation especially if it's not online especially if you communicate verbally through text email whatever and you have an appointment coming up I don't know anyone I've never dealt with anyone business minded business wise or any type of collaboration that did not confirm with me I had a, I had a, a tax appointment I had a um, you know um, a life insurance appoint discussion appointment interview whatever you want to call it they reached out to me the day before you know, coordinated and confirmed I had a really close cool friend that got mad at me because we spoke seven days before our actual training session and I said I'm going to confirm with you before I come down there um, it's about 55 minutes one way drive to his house to his facility and sometimes when I get there a lot of times um, things we're not super organized I had to wait we had to get water uh, didn't have the right thing on dress you know apparel wise and it's not wrong with that but to upgrade to go into the next level you want to have a streamlined a streamlined operation um, a streamline your lifestyle and your organization organization skills and your compartmentalization skills should be streamlined so it's nothing wrong with that and the further you get into your journey the more you progress it seems that a lot of people in your close circle kind of abhor that you know they detest you want to be more organized and more structured then they start calling you new or bougie and that's not the case at all so in this aspect, a lot of times your fitness journey changes in that aspect of your life because strangers treat you with ultimate respect. Strangers that you've never known, they buy your merch, <laughs> they uh, support your channel, they, they drop comments every Sunday, um, every Monday, every Saturday, whenever you drop your videos, they drop comments, they uh, constant encouragement. Um, they got just as many kids as the people in your life that are close to you have and the excuses that they're giving your strangers got the same kind, the same things, the same issues going on in their life, if not more. And I, I, I researched this and I looked and followed a lot of other Instagrammers and influencers and business people who are much larger than me, and they all said the same thing. It's crazy. Close friends and family, um, they abhor organization, or they don't recognize that you trying to become more um, organized and successful. They look at it as you're too good for them. You're being difficult, and that's not at all the case. 
So stop, you know, conforming or don't conform to people that are trying to change your behavior just because you're progressing in your journey. That's one point. The next point is, in this fitness journey, which I'm in, I'm in the fitness, you know, industry, you know, you gotta extract and try to seek out the perfect opportunities and the best resources to develop your body um, as fast as you can, um, as safe as you can. So you might have to find alternatives to a lot of like, you know, unhealthy or unnatural chemical processes. So that means clean eating as much as you can, um, not wasting money on processed foods and putting in your body what uh, your body needs. Giving your body the proper resources it can, it needs to build itself. As an athlete, we need more sleep than a regular average Joe. As an athlete, we need proper, better nutrition than the average person. As an athlete, we need better recovery. We need optimal recovery. So, that's another thing. The third thing I want to talk about is stress. During your fitness journey, you know, it, it impacts your life. It helps you manage stress. Physical uh, exertion, you know, training builds physical you know, embodiment, it builds your physical structure, but also build, builds mental capacity. So, straining, working out, cardio, whatever, CrossFit, powerlifting, whatever your endeavor is, it helps to reduce stress. So, reduction of stress um, enables you to filter out a lot of negative energy. Because we can't control all the people around us to a certain extent. So, those people that we have to be around, even if it's a close business partner or training partner, uh, like I see uh, Midwest Kong, you know, <laughs> arguing with his partner all the time, you know, but the thing is, you have to be able to filter out negative energy, and if it just keeps coming around, every time you try to have a discussion, and no one wants to let you talk, when to monopolize the conversation, when you speak, and you start the conversation, you call them, and you start talking, and they cut you off, and don't let you finish your initial conversation, and they just ramble on like a train and don't come up for air and monopolize the entire conversation, that person doesn't respect your time, they don't respect your thoughts, and they don't respect, you know, communication with you. So at that point, you gotta say, okay, I wanna get down, I wanna, you know, collab, but I really can't do it because I'm trying to move up to the next level and I'm trying to implement things that are gonna enhance the experience and they're not trying to hear that. So. If that's the key, you got other people, you know, in your uh, circle that you can get down with. You have to invest time in people that have conducive energy. It could be someone you love that's just catastrophic and, you know, going against the grain and it's not healthy. You know, a lot of it's pride. Um, like I said, I wanted to do some things with my business and I'm trying to streamline things and make it more organized. Appointment wise, time wise, you know, it's very selfish to have certain expectations of me when I'm driving almost an hour one way each way, bringing down resources, bringing my equipment to film, you know, and then I'm just asking you to confirm an appointment with me the night before. I don't care how many times we talked early in the week on a Monday. We didn't speak Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. I'm texting you Saturday, no matter what it is about, if I haven't heard from you, to confirm things come up, life comes up. There's nothing wrong with that. So you have to be around people that respect your time and respect your thoughts and respect your grind. Put the shoe on the other foot. You know, if I had something that went on, spoke to someone on a Monday and we were supposed to do something the next Sunday and we didn't speak all week, I would automatically just call and confirm on a Friday or Saturday night. I don't care if we spoke 10 times on a Monday or Tuesday. It doesn't matter. It's just good business. Um, you don't want someone that's bougie and says, oh, all right, you want me to be on time or you ain't paying me. That's ghetto as hell. It's unprofessional and it's trivial and it's really childish. No, it's about up, you know upping my game, growing as an uh, entrepreneur, growing as a, you know, a YouTuber growing as a an influencer, as a human being. We can't continue to do things the way we did them when we first started our channel, when we first started our business. You have to constantly grow and evolve. And unfortunately, a lot of people in your inner circle, business, fitness, relationships, even personal relationships, intimate relationships, a lot of them don't get that. To stay in the same rut 
in the same season, your whole life will result in you not growing as an individual. And I'm talking about financially, socially, um, physically, mentally, spiritually, whatever. So these are ways that you can positively, how fitness positively um, impacts your life. You know, if you go the right direction, you got to go the right path. Now, when you read resistance on any of these paths and you know you're doing things to better your experience and your grind and you can see your uh, productivity enhancing while making these changes and people in your immediate close circle can't get down with that, then, hey, you might have to you know, do a lot of progress on your own or do it with other people, you know? The whole key is when you implement projects, when you do collabs with anybody, business partnerships, you want to do things with other people that have conducive energy. You can't have friction on every little thing, every little detail. There's people that uh, wanted, uh, someone wanted to do a mukbang with me, uh, my girlfriend at the time, she had to come to my house to do it. So I'm going to do everything I can to make things conducive and palatable and organized <laughs> For her, I went out and bought all the props, the bowls, the food. I set up the table. She came over a half hour before the video was to be shot and I did not make her do anything. You're coming to me. So I'm going to you know, do everything I can to make everything organized, have it all ready. And I communicated with her half an hour and a couple hours before that. This is good business. She only had to drive 15 minutes. But the, the point is, when you have that type of person willing to make content with you, willing to get down with you, coming to you for over three years, driving down, wherever, traveling, your whole thing should be, you need some water, man? How much? What you want me to wear? What do you need me to wear? But not all kinds of resistance just because I want to confirm, you know, an appointment or I want to make sure things are uh, accurately processed. And that's the thing. In this industry, and then the fourth thing is speaking and looking and analyzing other influencers on um, information and blogs and things. I don't know what it is, but it's a thing. This is a real thing. Close friends and family do not support you as much as strangers do in new clients. It's just a thing. It's like an unbridled, um, embedded, I don't know, envy or jealousy subconsciously that they just can't get down with that. Um, and the thing is, if you're fortunate to meet somebody who does that and they don't change over years as you grow, you're not trying to be bougie or too good for people or have an ego. You're trying to grow and streamline your operation or your business. If they can't understand that, you got to put yourself around people that do. There's people that, that are looking at my YouTube channel and my um, platforms and telling me, this is great, but you know what? You need to do this better. I take advice from them. So... When you make these changes to enhance your operation and everything else, and people in your inner circle can't understand, they say you're being difficult and they don't understand that there's certain necessities that you need, that you can't have someone working out with pants hanging off and having baggy, uncouth attire. Um, the audio has to be correct, all right? Um, certain amount of editing has to be done. This is a video. Um, certain language has to be used or certain language cannot be used whatever um you know they got to understand that it's not like you're shooting videos training videos every day so this is about mutual respect you know and you I can have people talk in a conversation that go back and forth but to monopolize and try to <laughs> um just take over a conversation for 10 15 minutes and not let the other person talk at a volume that's you know totally unnecessary it means you don't respect my energy, you don't respect my thoughts, you don't respect my conversation and my interaction. And it's very selfish. So that's number four, you know. The number fifth, the number five, and last way I think that, um, you know, fitness really impacts your life is you have to decide how to, uh, you know, funnel this and um, turn this into a finance. You gotta turn your fitness into finance and you have to do that through streamlines that are, you know, available and avenues that make it possible. So if you're doing one thing and you're trying different sequences of events and you find that something's not working, after a few weeks, you got to switch up. You can't keep going on the same, you know, route. And in that 
that journey as you're switching things up and experimenting with different things, if you meet resistance, and I'm telling you, it normally comes from close friends and family, um, people that would be, you know, subscribers or would be followers, they're watching you from afar in the real world. They're watching you online, but they're not supporting and making excuses. You know, I got a family, I got three kids, I got this, that, and the other, but all your influencers are doing this with even more um, hurdles and roadblocks. Things that your, you know, your people might have done when you first initiated your, uh, you know, your goals, you initiated your plan, your journey, your business, whatever. But excuses, everybody has one, just like an a-hole. You know, I got up, you know, there was a situation where my equipment broke, I had to go get something else, my audio went out, I had to get another, whatever. Somebody canceled, I had to get somebody else, whatever. You know, excuses do not, you know, further your agenda. If you are selfish and you want to monopolize conversations, you want to make excuses to why you, you know, all of a sudden, now you don't want to watch any YouTube videos, not even once a week. I promise you on a call, you know, after you were done with certain things during the day and you didn't, you forget, that's fine. So that's why I'm calling that night. I'm calling the day after. I'm calling the day after and leaving messages and I don't get any feedback all week. And then I try to reconfirm the next day for a shoot that's supposed to happen the day after that, and you get upset because I'm trying to confirm, you need to be around positive energy. So fitness, you know, impacts your life physically, mentally, emotionally. And all those, those that triangle needs to be balanced. If there's one, one edge, one corner of that triangle that's deficient, you need to get rid of it and replace it with a stronger, um, you know, cornerstone, a stronger support. And that's it, guys. That's my rant. Um, I just had to get that off my chest. I, I love people that have been close to me and supported me. Um, when I first started my YouTube journey, my fitness journey, had a lot of supporters. Some fell off as I evolved. Um, some were never there to begin with, you know, through all kinds of things, little health issues here and there. Some came out the woodworks and started interrogating and attacking. And then, you know, when I regained my, you know, full, complete, fullness and health now you don't hear from them it's like they like to celebrate when you're down some people like to celebrate when you're down you know you don't need to be around that kind of energy but that's it guys i hope you um get something out of this you can apply it to your youtube journey apply it to your fitness journey your coaching journey your business whatever um the whole goal is we should have our close friends and family supporting us more than strangers but in this industry it's reversed like, subscribe, comment. Let me know your thoughts. And uh, guys, thank you so much for listening. See you in the next one.